I feel my very first coding assessment. Let's talk about it. So I just decided I should do a quick video telling you that I feel my first coding assessment. And this happened earlier this year. Yeah, it happened earlier this year. There was an internship post out and someone sent it to me. I think it was my sister, I'm not sure. Then I saw it, uh, okay, it wouldn't hurt to apply. And keep in mind, my portfolio is kind of whack, so my expectations were very low. I'm like, yeah, I'm, very, I'm still working on my portfolio. So, yeah, well, then, yeah, I'll send my CV. And after I send the CV, I got a response that I should be sure much I'll have to take a assessment. And it so happened that I applied late, so the assessment, uh, what do we call it? The assessment deadline was the very next day so like okay cool and they, they sent a link where you can check out the platform that you'll be using to take the assessment so that you get familiar basically with it so i checked it out and i saw some questions there and i was like okay sql and i saw some algorithms and data structure question I was like, okay okay and the moment i saw the algorithms and data structure questions i knew that i was Basically, it was over because I haven't done uh, it. I've been uh, because I haven't uh, practiced coding questions or coding. Uh, what is it? Coding. I haven't done any coding questions since earlier last year. I've just been learning. Just been learning, and I'm not planning to study them anytime soon i'm not starting planning to study the arguments and demonstrations anytime soon i'm planning to that i'm going to focus more on them on november and december since there's a little bit closer to the following year and if i pass on my modules then i'll be done with my qualification and at least it makes sense that then i'll start applying like and going to for coding interviews and stuff like that so i was like okay my expressions were very low from this from the beginning like, okay, and I checked it out. I saw that okay, cool. Things just touches and the good questions. I was like, damn, I'm screwed. And I went to my Udemy course and just looked it over. Did some code wars, uh, did some code wars, uh, problem solving. And I saw that ah, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. So the day came, and I was like, okay, let me just do it, you know, since the day, the deadline is the last day. And that's one thing we, uh, I always do. I always try to shoot my shot. Then I tell myself, if it lands, it lands. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's whatever, you know. Because I, you can do it, you lose up of an event. But my expectations from the beginning were very low. <clears throat> as soon as I saw the data structures and algorithm questions, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm screwed. So I was like, okay, cool. The day came and I started doing it. First things first was the SQL questions, which were easy. I'm sure I did them good. Then, Oh, question. This was word questions. I don't remember those happening earlier this year, but they were also problem solving. I was to solve a problem. Okay, I did them. I knew that my what is this that my solution was very, 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 very inefficient. But I like, okay, man, we in her to try and bam, finish the assessment. By the way, there's a time limit on every question. So like, okay, finish the assessment on some coding questions. I didn't even finish them, but then I got the results and I was like, okay, I failed this money. So you should probably ask yourself, so what did you learn from the entire thing? Well, it just reaffirmed that you should practice something consistent. Well, the entire process to me reaffirmed that you should practice the instruction and, and algorithms if you know that you are seeking employment no like 100% you are committed to seeking employment like you have to study them and I will on November December but for now I'm just working on my portfolio and upskilling myself you know I'm not on that uh, I'm not on that wavelength for now you know I'm, I'm, I'm not looking for jobs if I may put it like that I'm not actively looking for a job by actively looking for a job I mean I'm not putting my CVs out there for everyone to check out and do this, do that, do this, do that, do this. No, I'm just, you know, trying to work on my skill, trying to become a better developer and try to uh, utilize 100% the tools which I use. And those tools are the languages. Languages come from 
those tools are the language the programming languages i use i want to be more proficient in javascript and more proficient in php larva so that's what i'm focused on on being good at that because the outcome of being good at that is that i become a better developer and if i become a developer obviously then most companies will actually want to have me. So that's what I'm focusing on right now, is building up my portfolio since this is my final year. And for the project has been going good, it's going good. There is progress there, even though it's no problem, but there is progress there. And I'm planning to finish it maybe next month. Because at the rate that I'm going, yeah, next month is realistic. Because schools are about to open soon and I'll be very, 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 very busy at schools. So yeah, I think next month is uh, it's good enough. So if you watch till this point, hey man, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.